This next case is a 57 year old man with pain. In typical fashion, we do not know where that pain is located. Here we have some images from an MR of the brain. We have a diffusion on the left here, a T2 fat sat in the middle, and a flare on the right here. Kind of use this to drill down, see if you can find the abnormality. These are pre and post contrast images, so take a look at that same abnormality. The question is a little bit different here. So the first question is which additional test is most likely to help you make a diagnosis? Do you want a non-contrast head CT, a CT angiogram, a whole body PET CT, or a chest radiograph? So hopefully when you see this question, maybe that gives you a little bit of a trigger about what you think the diagnosis might be. And here are some additional images in the same patient. Let's take a look. These are from an MRI of the lumbar spine. So we have a T2 here, a T1 pre-contrast and a T1 post-contrast. So your next question is what is the most likely diagnosis? So this is a case of calvarial metastatic disease. It's something that we don't think about a whole lot, but uh, is relatively common. You can see this with some of the more common malignancies, including breast cancer, lung cancer, and RCC. Of course, melanoma is known for going anywhere. In children, you might think about neuroblastoma. Now, if you see a calvarial metastasis, think about um, intracranial metastases or brain metastases, which are going to be present more than 50% of the time. A minority of these patients are going to go on to have surgery, uh, but it will really depend on what other metastases are present. Uh, local or whole brain radiation are really uh, key, key players here. So which additional test is most likely to help you with the diagnosis? Uh, the answer there is uh, PET-CT, uh, because you're thinking this might be metastasis. So you want to look to see if you can find a primary malignancy elsewhere. Uh, those other tests might help you a little bit, but uh, ultimately you're going to need to look for a systemic malignancy. So here are the images that I showed you on the first page. You can see that uh, diffusion, it's a little bit abnormal, but not, not greatly so, mostly around the margins. Here you can see on T2, is very bright centrally. And on flare, it's just kind of doesn't suppress like CSF. If you take a look at the pre and the post contrast, you'll see again that lesion where there's normal cortex of the bone there is gone. And you see some enhancement around the periphery of this lesion. So you have a expansile peripherally enhancing mass in the calvarium. You have to be thinking that's a concerning lesion. In a patient of middle age or older, you have to think about metastatic disease. Uh, here you see the images from the lumbar spine and what you'll see is that there are some additional lesions here you see one in the l2 vertebral body it's t2 bright uh, the posterior cortex is a little bit expanded there and then you have some enhancement there that perhaps extends beyond the uh, vertebral body there when you have lesions in an alternate location you have to think about a systemic process like a malignancy or uh, perhaps infection